Hello, thank God for another bright new day. You're welcome to A Light for the Nation, your daily devotional program brought to you by the Catholic Church. My name is Tony Abba. Today, Reverend Father Colin Sahibe will be telling us, on, will be taking us on the topic, Let Us Denounce Him. Today, many of you are going to deny us. Many of you are being denounced. Our discussion today is, let us denounce him. Before we continue, let us have a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty and ever living God, I thank you for the gift of this beautiful day. As we reflect on the suffering and trials that we believers must go through, give us the grace never to give up, even when we are being denounced. Give us the grace to remain faithful, because we have promised us, if we persevere to the end, you give us the crown of everlasting life. Give us the strength. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Our reading will be taken from Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 10. Yes, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. This is the fate of Jeremiah. Every prophet went through one persecution or the other. Almost all the prophets. And this is the fate of Christ. When you read Matthew chapter 10, Master told, Jesus himself told his disciples, I'm sending you like sheep among wolves. In verse 22, he said, they will hate you on account of my name. They will denounce you on account of my name. But if you persevere to the end, you will be saved. If you stand for Jesus, the world will denounce you. If you stand for Jesus, the world will hate you. Right now, you are going through your trials, you are going through your persecutions, and you are worried. You are about giving up on Jesus. Don't give up. Let us denounce him. That is our faith. That is our portion. We are going to be denounced. Because the world dwells in darkness. The world do not want the truth. That's why they persecuted Jesus. And the master said, if they hated me, they will hate you. No servant is greater than his master. If they turn against me, they will turn against you. And the master told us, a man's a man's enemies will be a member, people of his household. We call it household wickedness. A father will turn against his son. His son will turn against his father. Daughter will turn against uh, the mother. The mother will turn against the daughter. Uh, daughter. Daughter-in-law will turn against mother-in-law. This is what the Lord promised us. Trials, difficulties. People will denounce us. Yes. You are, go- you are taking your share of suffering. That's what Paul will tell us in First, uh, first Peter. I mean, sorry. Peter tells us, the Apostle Peter tells us, that we should take a share in suffering. The same thing Paul himself told us, that we, we must go through trials and difficulties to arrive safely at our heavenly home. As, as a believer, when trial comes your way, what is your attitude? When you are being denounced, what is your attitude? The attitude you may have right now is to give up. I am saying don't give up on yourself. You are going to be denounced. Sometimes, members of your natural family, you are a married man, in your office, you are trying to be upright. And you discuss with your wife what you are going through. There's a contract. And they are telling you to inflate the contract. And you tell them, your boss, oh God, I can't do it. And your wife will be telling you, do it oh. You can't want to lose your job oh. Do it oh. Even your wife, if you are not careful, will turn against you. So we are in a world today that compromises the name of the game. So if you want to stand upright, you want to serve God, my friend, prepare yourself for trials. That is why in the book of Sirach, chapter 2, from verse 1 and following, say, my son, if you want, if you come, want to serve God, prepare yourself for this. Prepare for yourself for trials. That is the way we must follow. They must denounce us. Because when you stand for Jesus, you are standing for truth. When you stand for truth, you are on the path of righteousness. You are on the path of light. And the one, they live in, in darkness. They don't want it. You will be an obstacle in your office. You will be an obstacle in your neighborhood because people who want to cheat, who want to exploit others, you will be an obstacle against their plan. Because you are standing on against their plan, they will kill you. They will turn against you. Some naturalists have lost their job because they were upright. Some teachers have lost their job because they were upright. Some staff working in their offices, they have, they have been sacked because they were upright. Some government workers have lost contracts or lost their jobs because of their uprightness. So contractors who refuse to compromise, they have lost the contract because of their uprightness. They were denounced. Let us denounce him. This denouncing of those who believe in Christ is in many forms, in various ways. 
You can be denounced by people giving you space. People can give you emotional, what we call silent treatment. Holy, holy, let's give him space. He knows it all. When you tell them the truth, they will hate you. But do not, do not worry. And some will, be, some will be diabolic. They will go into the occultic world to fight you. But the Bible tells us in Isaiah 54 that no weapon of fashion against us shall prosper. Verse 17. That is the good news. The enemy will denounce you. They will turn against you. He will decay you, my friend. Do not be afraid to die for the sake of Jesus. We, this body will pass away, but our soul will live forever. If you stand for truth, if you stand for Jesus, the world will denounce you. If you stand for righteousness, the world will hate you. That is why when you read First John chapter 2, from verse 14, he said, do not love the world and the things of the world. When you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. So the truth of the matter is, there is no way we love God above all things that the world will not denounce you. Jeremiah went through it. Isaiah went through it. All of the Elijah went through it. Who is it? All the prophets, they went through it. They went through one persecution or the other. Some were killed. So if you stand for Jesus, they will denounce you. If you stand for Jesus, you will go through persecution. If you stand for Jesus, there will be trials. If you stand for, persecution, if you stand for Jesus, you will go through a lot of agony. But the question is, are you willing to stay to the end? The master has promised you a reward. What do you need therefore? Perseverance. Perseverance and perseverance. Be on your knees. Let your ways be straight. It's not easy. Trials will come. Difficulties will come. But the good news, at the end of the day, your name will be written in gold. Your name will be written. You will be a candidate of heaven. Let us have a, let us have a short prayer. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for your children. Many of them are being denounced today because of their position to stand for truth. Lord, I ask that you give them the grace to remain steadfast. Give them the grace not to give up in doing good. Give them the grace for us to persevere to the end. May Almighty God bless us and keep us unto everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Colin Sahigbe is of the Order of Preachers, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe we have learned one or two things from the reflection he has given us this morning, and it is our prayer that God will bless you richly as you go out today. But if you have questions or suggestions you wish to share with us, please send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com or better still, send us your messages on our Facebook page. Let us continue the conversation and help one another to live a better Christian life here on earth in order to be happy in the world to come. Bye for now and have a wonderful day.